everybody, it's Reckless, and welcome to Breaking the Fourth Wall. It is December 9th, 2016, and it is also a Friday, which means it is another week of Zer. It is week 118 to be precise, and let's go find out what Zer has in his shadow shop this week. So, Zer is actually located in the tower, in the tower north, by that big, wonderful, huge door to the right at the bottom of the stairs. Down by where this guy is. Hey. Zer! Some dude! So, we're going to start with the Curios first. We have Plasma Drive and Emerald Coil for those awesome uh, rare sparrows. Turn them into legendaries. Then we got your Heavy Ammo Synthesis. You get three for one strange coin. Then we got your three of coins. You get five for seven strange coins. Then we got your Glass Needles. You get three for three strange coins. Three Molten Light and one Exotic Shard. Then we got your Material Exchange. You get two Molten Light for i'm sorry you had one motor light for two strange coins as for your weapon ornaments we have not a toy for the zalo supercell and we also have crucible assassin for the trespasser so we're gonna get this out of the way because we hate them so much your legacy engram of the week is for the the special weapon engram and i'm not entirely sure but if you don't know the Icebreaker is actually coming out next week, but I'm not entirely sure if you'll be able to get it from an engram or not. Just in case, I don't know if you should buy them or not. I, I, I would do it just in case, you know, just in case you just can't grab one from the vault and level it up. Most likely, you're probably going to have to do a quest um, in order to get that new one, just like we had to do with the Thorn, but I could be wrong. So, it's up to you if you guys want to grab it or not. You know, the first exotic we will be going over is the Sealed Ahamkara's Grasps for the Hunter class. This one has a Discipline Strength roll. Main perk on this is Nightmare Fuel, which gains an additional melee charge. Melee damage has a chance to automatically reload your primary weapons. Secondary perks on this are Switchblade, uh, Impact Induction, Sidearm Loader, and Machine Gun Loader. Now, this is definitely a good exotic for the Hunter class. I actually use these mainly on my Hunter when I am a Night Stalker. Um, I, I, I like the helmet, but the Graviton 4th is okay, but I feel that these are a lot better. You know, that's just my own opinion. Other people may disagree, but that Wombo combo um, definitely is maxed out beautifully with the Silt Ahamkara's Grasp. So... In PvE and PvP, I probably would give this a 1.5 to a 2 on the tier rating. But I heavily like suggest you guys get these if you guys do use a Night Stalker um, Hunter. So, if you guys want them, grab them. If you guys don't want them, grab them, shard it, call it a day, and you move on from that. The next exotic we'll be going over is the Alchemist Raiment. For the Warlock class, it has an Intellect and Strength roll. Actually, very high Intellect and Strength roll. Uh, main perk on this is Irons of Gold, which you have a chance to gain Glimmer on primary ammo pickup. Orbs collected when your super is full, recharge your grenades and melee. Now, this is not that good of an exotic for competitive play. Uh, it's, it's an okay exotic for like pve but if i guess if you're running out of glimmer then yeah but other than that i probably wouldn't actually get this so i would have to say in pve i would probably even still make this a tier four and in pvp i definitely would make this a tier five and again if you guys don't know that tear scale that i use i actually put a link to that in the description below so secondary perks on this are special ammo, heavy ammo, arc burn defense, and this Betty is arc armor. So yeah, I probably wouldn't really get this. If you guys want it, go, by all means, go ahead. If you don't, grab it, try to call it in. The next exotic we will be going over is the Dune Marchers for the Titan class. You guys get a discipline strength roll on this. And main perk on this is Speed Demon, which increased sprint speed Increase movement speed while aiming your weapon and tighter turn radius while sprinting. Secondary perks on this are shotgun ammo, rocket launcher ammo, and also arc double down. 
Now, I haven't really used this at all. This is actually the first time I'm seeing it, um, other than looking online. But it looks like it being a very promising uh, exotic for a striker titan, actually. Uh, especially one that rushes with a shotgun. Or even... Uh, actually... The fact that it has arc double down, then yes, I can see it for a striker titan. But it definitely could be used very well on every class for the, uh, what is it called? For the, I can't think of it, for the titan class, Jesus. Um, I want to try these out, you know, because I don't have them. And I definitely want to see how good they actually do. Granted, the discipline and strength roll isn't really that good on it. I'd rather have intellect than discipline. But, you know, it's... We'll see how good it does. Um, if you guys want to try it out, I suggest you get it. If not, then grab it anyways, shard it, call it a day. But as of right now, I'm going to name this tier list. Because I haven't tried it out. And I want to. Because it seems like it would be a good exotic. It really does. But whether it be an exotic worthy of replacing the armamentarium... Or the Twilight Garrison? I could not say yet. I really could not. I guess it would just have to matter how good the sprint speed, increased movement speed, while aiming your weapons, and tighter turn radius while sprinting actually works. So, again, I'm going to leave this tier list. But, like I said, if you guys want to try it out, by all means, grab it. If you guys don't, don't worry about it. The last exotic we'll be going over is the Exotic Pulse Rifle Red Death. With a great fire rate, okay impact, decent range, okay stability, nice reload speed with a magazine of 30. Uh, perks on this are Archaeorized Ballistics, Field Choke, Aggressive Ballistics, Unflinching, Snapshot, High Caliber Rounds, Single Point Sling, and Red Death. Now, this is actually a good pulse rifle, but the fact that the higher rate of fire pulse rifles are actually taking over is like amazing so i don't know if you guys would actually want this or not but it still is a good pulse rifle so i do suggest you guys get it and that my friends brings us to the end of the video thank you guys for all of your support feel free to share comment subscribe and turn on notifications that way you guys can stay up to date with all my videos i'm reckless and remember only success and i will see you guys next time